Hello guys and welcome to episode 34 of the Disney Pixar Diecast Collection Series. Uh, we have another unboxing or a uh, few cars today to uh, to show and add to the collection in this uh, Take 5 a Day 155 Cars Diecast. Uh, obviously this is by uh, Take 5 a Day down here. Um, so yeah, we're going to be uh, showing a few cars that I've added to the collection. Um, this is actually the last video ever I'm recording at my family house. Um, finally, after 10 months uh, renovation, finally managed to uh, get the house side. So that's why you've only been seeing cars videos on the channel. Most of them have been completely backlogged um, from months away. Um, but yeah, this is actually uh, being recorded on the weekend moving. Um, so yeah, quite a scary, daunting moment, but it's been... A quite nice really uh, there's been hundreds of videos uh, recorded in this bedroom and um, so it's really really nice to uh, to bring it to a close and be able to do so and um, so let's get straight on to it and um, yeah all these cars are coming with me we'll see what we'll do but yeah on to uh, car number one. First up we have boxed snowmobile uh, yeah from the uh, Christmas collection I actually can't find him in the uh, in the book uh, but it is an older model, so it should be included. Uh, the cars on the road and that are included in my book because it's too old. Uh, but other than that, it should be included. So I don't really know why, but way of the world. Um, so yeah, this is a nice one to add. Still boxed. I'm not sure whether to re remove it from the box yet because uh, it seems not that rare, this one. So I don't think it particularly matters. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's uh, car number one. I'll put it out of the way because it's obviously quite big. So, loose car, we have Dr. Arbschleppwagen, obviously from the Cars Toons universe, a, a Mater variant. Uh, I think I got this originally, but accidentally got it in the uh, 1 to 42 scale, 143 scale, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, eventually found it in the 1 to 55 scale. scale. Nice looking car in all honesty, pretty cool indeed. Uh, glasses are a little bit murky but other than that yeah nice nice to add to the collection um another mater anyway uh don't <laughs> can never have enough maters there's plenty of them because of cars too um, so yeah nice to add to the collection next up we have one i have been looking for for some time and it wasn't a bad price really for what what it is uh, it's a damage the king or uh strip weathers uh, pretty cool. The only problem I have is the wheels are slightly bent at the back, as you can see here. They, they come up a little bit, um, but other than that, I can't complain. I'll try to bend them back, but I don't want to bend them too much. They snap. Uh, some kids obviously been pushing down on the back a bit too hard, really. But yeah, nice to add this one to the collection. Been looking for this one for ages, uh, whether it's been slightly more damaged uh, whilst it's been played with. Uh, I'm not sure, but yeah, it's good to get this one out of the way anyway. Pretty cool indeed. From the Cars 2 universe, we have Officer Murakami. Uh, obviously, this is from, I believe, Japan, one of the Japanese uh, police cars. Cars 2 is literally just to bring more cars into the universe and make more toys. That's literally all it's for. Uh, but it's cool to add another one to the collection I don't have. Uh, pretty standard, straightforward model, uh, but quite substantial. Uh, pretty cool car though. So yeah, another one to add to the collection. No number plate, which is interesting, but yeah, it's so definitely an official one anyway. A Cars Toons car, we have Van San, obviously a variant of Van. Um, it's just another variant in green. Um, looks pretty cool, quite damaged to be fair. Uh, it's just one of them, uh, but it was, I think, the right price to be honest. Um, so yeah, not bad indeed. Um, yeah, very, very basic bottom and then the damaged roof box and yeah, there's definitely chip paint and what have you on it. But he's pulling a funny face, so I can't complain with that one. Uh, let's get on to the last car of the episode. Last up, we have Spare Mint 93. It's actually the one with the raised eyelids, um, so it's pretty cool to get. Don't see many of them about. Um, didn't realise I didn't have him, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, nice to take this one off the list. Um, big Nice uh, numbers there, showing that it's one of the older cars. Very, very good to uh, tick off another racer. I'm um, trying to get all the racers, especially Cars 1. Cars 1 is, is where it's at and where I want to be getting most of my collection and probably what I'll be focusing on now, moving house. I'm probably not going to be doing as many of these. Um, but yeah, 
it's uh, it's definitely one to tick off the list. So that's that. That is that for um, videos in my family home. Thank you so much for watching. It's been great uh, to have you. Um, so I'll bring that back into the screen. Um, so yeah, uh, expect it to die down a little bit whilst uh, settling, uh, moving in with my girlfriend. So yeah, anything can happen. Um, might stop stop this for quite a while, um, but I'm, I'll, tr I'll try to keep going anyway. Um, yeah, I'm probably trying to justify spending more money on these kind of cars. It's going to be fun uh, to myself, not just her. Uh, but yeah, it's been great uh, to keep going as we've been going along anyway. But yeah, uh, this is how much we've spent in today's episode on the screen right now. I'm not 100% sure what it is. Uh, but yeah, there we are. So thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you next time in my new house. Goodbye.